she was parked down here and they pulled up and told her to get out the car. This woman asked us not to use her name. She says her friend was meeting up with her 89-year-old sister to take her shopping when she was confronted by carjackers near 46 and South Ellis Avenue. Women are traumatized. We're, we're in danger, and the mayor is a woman. She's got to fight for us to change the law. She and her friend are now planning to attend a community meeting tomorrow, demanding answers from city leaders on what's being done to stop this repeated cycle of violence. A friend called me, and a friend of hers, she got out the car, and they shot her in the back and killed her. So we got to do something about this. We can't just let this continue to happen. Just yesterday, Chicago police say there were at least six carjackings reported in the city. We know in at least four of those incidents, the suspects targeted rideshare drivers. One of the incidents caught on camera around 630 in the morning outside of Willis Tower. If it looks like trouble, nine times out of ten, it is trouble. Just be aware of your surroundings and be safe. Michael Wilhite is a retired DEA agent and does consulting for law enforcement. He says it's always best to lock your doors. If you're at a stoplight, don't get bumper to bumper to the car that's right in front of you. Leave some space. Carjackers might even attempt to bump you from behind. Don't get out of your car. Just drive to the nearest police station. The whole goal is to survive the encounter. Survive the encounter.